We need your help to stop an invasion in Colorado right now. That is the message from Colorado Parks and Wildlife. Invasive zebra mussels are worming their way into more and more of our bodies of water and will keep infesting our waters unless we're paying close attention. CPW has now confirmed five locations, mostly on the western slope, with infestations of zebra mussels. Your report of the mountain, Spencer Wilson, explains how we got here, what's worked and what hasn't, and what we can do to stop this. It's more bad news from the western slope. Zebra mussels are officially in East West Lake, reproducing by the millions. Originally, Parks and Wildlife was trying to find where the zebra mussels got into Colorado in the first place, but it doesn't really matter anymore. Now, they're trying to make sure that zebra mussels don't go into the next body of water, because once they go in, it's really hard to get them out. We first told you about zebra mussels back in 2022 in Highline Lake in Grand Junction, where CPW found the invasive species then tried to kill the infestation by shocking the whole lake, and says while it didn't eradicate the infestation, it did at least slow it down. Now we know that they've spread. There's going to be quite a few on this retaining wall here. And finding zebra mussels is sometimes as easy as looking where we know they'll clump up. It sucks, <laughs> yeah. It's a very unfortunate realization for us to come to, and it, it shows us that this population is already well established in this body of water. Zebra mussels might be small, but they reproduce like crazy oh, and clog our water so infrastructure. Think of it as the same reason you can't pour grease down your drain on a statewide waterway level. Now they're in the Colorado River. We depend on it for palisade peaches, you know, uh, palisade wine, things like that. Even just having green grass, that is our livelihood. So in the face of this invasion, what is Parks and Wildlife asking us to do? First, it wants us to pay attention. And second, don't let mussels hitch a ride with you. It's so important for people to clean drain and dry, especially if you're thinking that you're gonna be moving from you know, a lower portion of the river upstream because zebra mussels can't move up on their own. Parks and Wildlife says none of the infestations are caused by people moving the mussels from one body of water to another, as far as they can tell. So wildlife officials say if we can stay vigilant, we can do our part to help stop the infestation. On the Western Slope, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first.